Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about the time I shot Blink 182. I've shot them a few times but this particular shoot was quite fun. It was in May of 2000 and it was a, a sort of a trip where I had quite a few shoots with the same press officer Anna and we flew into Orlando and we were going to do Blink first in Tampa and then go to shoot live the band live in Pensacola and then we went on to shoot Nine Inch Nails in Houston where I did the shot where they've had the um the powder explosion in the dressing room if you remember that one back to the blink shoot they had a day off between shows and they wanted to stay at a golfing resort about an hour away from the gig they were playing the ice palace in Tampa but they didn't play golf at all, so it was all—it was one of those sort of things where <laughs> rock stars just suddenly have these ideas of like, yeah, why not? Because we can, you know. So anyway, I think they had a nice time staying at this pretty swanky place. It was Innisbrook Golf Course. I mean, that's the thing again—you sort of having to scout like, what are we doing? You know, what? How are we going to get a cover out of this um, situation? And there was like this mock waterfall by the swimming area. Um, and I thought, well, that, that might work for a shot. But you can imagine the sort of hotel complex that it was, you know. Anyway, the band rocked up and they were all in their swimming trunks and they got themselves smoothies and daiquiris and proceeded to uh, to frolic around in the mock waterfall. You can see just how ridiculously sunburnt Tom is. They were only topless for a, a matter of like half an hour or so. But um, but these are quite fun, actually. Travis reposted one of these the other day without a credit, of course. Just having a bit of a laugh, you know. It's that sort of, um, you know, male model catalogue circa 1970 situation. Travis has definitely got a lot more tattooed since this this time. After these shots, then we had to go and get some images for for the cover story. That's when, again, it just became a bit farcical because we were taking pictures of them. They got fully clobbered up. They went into the shop and bought like the hat, Innisbrook cap, um, and, uh, you know, got hired out a golf buggy. We just like, you know, faffed around on the course getting trying not to get in everyone's way um doing those shots of like you know when they're trying to get the ball out of the sand and it's sort of flying everywhere um so after the shoot anyway they got on their tour bus and went off to the venue and uh and we followed a bit later but i love how surreal some of these shoes were it's just like you know why not uh, when we got to the the venue i remember doing some more shots of them against like you know plain white walls in the corridors of the massive stadium just in case some of these didn't come come out and that's a lot of the time i would try to cover to cover my back you know image wise to make sure that i had everything that you could possibly need god take me back to to travel and gigs 